Hi everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. I'm here with Gary San Angel from the University of Southern California at the Medicine School, Keck Medicine School. And Gary has been using our PTZ Optics NDI camera models in a very interesting way. And I wanted to ask you a little bit about that. Sure, so what's really exciting about the um, PTZ Optics NDI camera is it's really kind of revolutionizing the idea of doing lecture capture. In traditional lecture capture, you have an AV person who goes out on site, who records, or you have to like really spend hundreds and thousands of dollars to upgrade a room. Now with the PTZ Optics NDI camera, we can literally install this or you know put it on a tripod, um, have a little mixer. Um, I have some pictures where we were actually doing a test a few weeks ago and literally control this camera like miles away as long as you're set on the network. So this camera was in another auditorium and in our master control, I was able to feed this camera and record both the content and the video of uh, using NDI, which is so awesome. I mean, I love it, it's great. So, and, so you're using Wirecast, yes. I understand, which is a very popular uh, video production software. It also allows you to live stream and record. In fact, we're recording right now on Wirecast <laughs> with these two cameras. And um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the networking side of things, because I know the University of Southern California certainly has quite a large network. Yes. And we had to work together a little bit to make sure that all the IT requirements uh, worked for NDI and you were able to actually get a NDI stream to work for four days continuously? Yes. So one of the key things, especially in a network, uh, you know, as, as, as security driven as USC is, uh, we really worked with our IT to make sure, A, we had a static IP. So you gotta have a static IP to make this uh, work so it doesn't fall off the network. And two, uh, through the help of PTZ Optics and, uh, and also uh, through the new tech um, access manager, we were able to get this working for four days straight. Uh, wow. and so, so that's really exciting and really good news for us because you know it was an in initial thought in my mind this should work, mm -hmm. you know. But then when you put it out in the field, we saw it does work. You know, so that's super exciting to us, and our IT is beginning to understand a little bit more about network protocols for NDI. So, um, you know, there there needs to be some homework given to them around it uh, for and some buy-in and understanding. Mm -hmm. um, so, once we got that um, all squared away, we we really made some progress. So, we ended up uh, giving the camera static IP address. We use the NDI access manager to make sure that the computers had static entries for the IP connectivity yes. over your network. And of course, did due diligence. We worked with the information technology department, made sure that they were on board with the NDI HX, the high efficiency video that would be going over the, the local area network, which is obviously very important and can't be, you know, it has to go through all the right procedures at a university level like this. So let's talk about what you're actually doing with the video uh, content that you're creating here in the studio and that you're, uh, you're doing around the campus. So one of the things that uh, we do um, every month is, is a career development series for the uh, science, um, the, for the SCCTSI, which is the Southern California uh, Clinical and Translational Science Institute. And so we do a number of career development recordings and one of the things that I've been testing is to see how we can use um, NDI as a means of elevating our ability to have um, a lot more mobility um, because of this robotic camera in terms of shots, um, as well as uh, the, the use of NDI being able to control that from miles and miles away is unbelievable. I mean, it's crazy to be able to think that, that you can have this kind of control and quality uh, you know, within this small camera. So um, I'm really excited about it, excited about the potential to really um, save uh, hundreds of dollars in resources, in, um, in funds uh, to build out uh, studios or, or even spaces, um, you know, with, with just a minimal sort of run and gun 
a PTZ optics camera, a small mic mixer, which is what we attach to it, and a um, little shotgun mic. Uh, you can obviously have a lab connected to a speaker and, um, and really do some amazing uh, lecture capture recordings with this little camera. Yeah, and it must be really convenient for you because now you have your studio here at the Keck. Uh, I guess this is building uh, 2100, but this is a massive campus. So to be able to send a camera out or have one in place already and not have to spend maybe, it could take you an hour to get from one side of this campus to the yes, other. Absolutely. And with LA traffic, <laughs> yes, you add another hour onto that. So, so it's really nice that you can leverage that network that's yes. there and get very low latency, high quality recordings from your office so you can be more productive and, I mean, and, and have a great connection. So I think that's awesome. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. This has uh, been Gary San Angel from the University of Southern California's Keck School of Medicine here using the NDI camera showing that at a higher education level with a little support from IT can really do a lot. Absolutely. And with the new technologies that we have, uh, we're just super excited about NDI and working with uh, PTZ Optics camera. This is such great stuff. So um, get one, seriously, it's amazing. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, everybody. Click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more interviews like this and share this with somebody in your school or higher education institution that should learn more. Take care, everybody. Bye.